hopefully I won't get my uh, hands in the way of this. Um, I'm using um, Tamiya paint, um, which is an acrylic, but it's not a water-based acrylic. So I'm going to use a different thinner, Mr. Color Leveling Thinner, which is awesome. Absolutely uh, superb thinner. And what I do is I put the thinner in first. You don't want paint down the bottom of the paintbrush drying out while you're trying to mix it. So the best thing to do is put the thinner in first. So I judge it roughly and pour in the thinners. Now this is just the way I do it. Other people count drops or do all kinds of things. I don't. I know this is a technique I learned from somebody on YouTube. And what I do is I use a brush and I just literally spoon it in with the brush. And I'm judging roughly 50-50. That won't be so far off. So now I mix it in with the brush. Just like that. Once I've manually mixed it with the brush, um, hopefully you'll be able to see this. I put my finger over the end to stop air going out. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add air and pull back slightly. And what happens is the paint goes down uh, through the needle and back up because it can't go anywhere because I've got my finger over the end. And then it, it pumps air through it, which helps mix it. So I just add a little bit of air not too much, <laughs> he said. It just stuck slightly there. But the idea is that you don't uh, make a mess like that. And that is mixed now and ready for spraying. Right, so I've finished spraying for now. Um, I need to do some more tomorrow, but for now, I'm done. So, how do I clean the airbrush? Well, I use this, uh, which I've done a video on on the channel. I just put a, a few drops in there and then just a cotton bud get right down in the bottom and I just wipe it all around the sides the last thing you want to do is spray these thinners through because you're just putting more muck through the through the brush I just give them a really good wipe and get a piece of kitchen roll, blue towel, whatever and give that a good white round okay so that's the the bowl clean so it's still not clean in the bottom so we'll just put a few more drops in use the other end of the same cotton bud just give it a good clean through the bottom Now this is um, an essential thing really. Uh, the black one's better, it's a bit more sturdy. Uh, you'll see what I mean if you look at it. But um, I just pour any waste into the bottom of that. If you've got an airbrush, you need one of these. So that's getting cleaner all the time. I don't know whether that's visible or not. So I've done very little, I've used very little of this now, but I'm going to use a little bit more Put that in the bottom there. Very little. I'm going to use a new cotton bud. Just wet it. And I'm just going to just give it a clean in the end there. You've got to be careful because of the needle. Just pull back slightly and so the needle retracts and just clean that and then just dry it off. You can see there's you know very little on there now. So we can spray the rest of that through and that's what this is for. Just pop it in there. There's a filter in here. You'll see some stuff coming up. But I normally do this within my uh, spray booth here. But it's not bad with acrylics. Okay, I'm going to do that once more. 
I'll give it a blow back. And I'll just spray that through once more. And that is clean as you like down there and clean in the end. And if I put some, just a few drops of thinner in there and spray it onto this white towel, no color. So that's how I deal with and clean my airbrush. There's no color on there at all. Absolutely marvelous. And what I'm going to do now is just clean my brush the same. Little squirt of that in here. I've got to bit up the handle there because <laughs> I'm mucky. But I love this cleaner. It's absolutely marvellous. And then I can finish that off in water. Just finish that off in water. You still see, I still see there's a bit in there. And that's it, we're clean. Sorted. So that's how I do it. <laughs>